Amen. I don't feel about my opponent. Uh, my opponent's here, don't whistle. Uh, we all know that there's a lot of hype behind these fights, um, and he always runs his mouth for about people. I can't stand him. I think he's an arrogant swag. Um, I just think he, he tries to get a lot of hype around his fights so he gets the followers. I mean, when you look at his fans, they don't come to see him, they come to see his fight to get him out his ass handed to him. So, how do I feel? I can't stand him. Um, plus, all the shit that he said about me in the past, uh, I want to hurt him. I'm not going to lie, I want to hurt him. I don't want to ever hurt anybody. But I want to hurt him, and I mean I want to hurt him. I want to put him to sleep. We have got with a good game plan, yeah. Um, obviously I'm not going to come out and say it now, but we've got, we, we know what we've been doing. We've been working hard on different things. Um, I've been training with bigger guys, because uh, I know NT Walk trains very heavy for a uh, featherweight, or he's day at a featherweight. Um, so yeah, we've been doing different things. I mean, obviously I work hard for my fights anyway, but with NC I've been working with bigger guys, I've been grappling with bigger guys, I've been sparring with bigger guys. Um, so yeah, got a, definitely got a game plan. Um, at first, I won't lie, he probably set me under at first. Uh, but then after it, I just thought, you know what? I can either hide away and let it bother me, or I can use it to my advantage. And I now think that he ain't got nothing on me now. I've used it to my advantage. And you'll see on the night of the fight, and it's a day of weighing uh, how much I'm going to use to my advantage. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, one, because he's got a better record than me. And two, uh, just generally I think that because of his, who he is, uh, I mean he's not fought the biggest of people, I mean other than Brad Wheeler, um, and Brad beat him twice in my fairness, even though it's one of them who's qualification. Other than that, I don't think he's fought anybody, I mean that's no disrespect to anybody else, but I just generally think that he's not fought anybody good enough to say that he's great. <coughs> I know he's fought on cage a few times, um, so that would be the next step for me, if he fights when I beat him, um, then yeah, I'd definitely say it's going to open up. Then I'll get noticed by different shows, because of how much fight NT brings to his fights. So I think it's going to bring a lot of positive, a positive attention. Yeah. I'm good on the floor, I'm, good, I'm a good submission expert. Okay, I've lost my last two fights by submission. Um, we look at the videos and I gave both fights away. If I fought those guys again, out of 10 fights, I'd probably lose once. Um, I've got a better cardio than NC, I know that for a fact. Uh, and I think I'm, I'm more technically rounded, stand up, I'm on the ground. I mean, I wouldn't say now that I'm better at one than the other, um, just because I've concentrated on stand up a lot since I came into MMA because I came from a judo background, um, from a grappling background. So for three years or I've always contract stand up. So I'd say I'm pretty even on both stand up and on the floor now. So judo's always played a part in all of my fights. Uh, that's just because of survival is the main one. Uh, when I be first on my fight I went straight back to judo. Um, Obviously I knew me BJJ and wrestling, but I went back to Maduro because that's what I knew best. So I feel like, yeah, it will help. Um, some of the throws, that'll come in handy, and some of the submissions. Um, but I don't rely as much on my judo now as I did when I first got into the game, definitely. <laughs> It's not going to go past the first round. The 
fight is not going past the first round. I'll either tap him out or knock him out. I prefer to knock him out, but I'm not fussed to be honest. If I don't knock him out, like I said, I mean two before. If I don't knock him out, I'll tap him out. Simple as. Being preparing Andy, especially for the edge, will fight for more size and strength. Um, his cardio is always top notch, but he's been rolling with me. I'm over 100 kilos. Lee Chadwick is just under 100 kilos. Jamie Chadwick now is 85 kilos. We've got a lot of guys who are a lot bigger than Andy, and that's what we've been doing. Here. Simple as.